There are a number of environment variables that are always defined and affect the way things run. Like the path variable, your scripts and your programs can depend on them being present. For example, the home variable is set to the name of your home directory. This variable setting can be used by any program, but it's used by the shell itself to translate tilde on the command line. Also, the CD command uses it to change to your home directory. Whenever you enter the CD command without naming a directory, it will use the name defined in home. There is another environment variable used by the CD command. I don't have mine set, but if I did, CD would use CD path as a search path. When you enter CD and name a directory, it's the default for CD to look for that directory inside the current directory. If you have CD path set to a list of one or more directory names separated by colons, CD will look for the directory in those locations. You can have it look anywhere you like, but I would suggest that if you use it, start the list with a dot directory because it can be very frustrating not to be able to change to a subdirectory within the current directory. We looked at the setting of the PS1 prompt earlier. There is also a PS2 prompt. If you start entering a command line and it turns out that the command line is too long to fit on one line on the screen, you can use the backslash character to continue it to the next line. You see, the backslash at the end of a line is another one of those special characters recognized by the shell. The whole thing acts just like you entered it on one line. The prompt for the second line is determined by the contents of PS2. Some software is capable of working in more than one language. This is particularly true of the Linux GUI interface programs that run under GNOME and KDE. Environment variables are set to tell the program which language to use. The code displayed here is for US English. This is just one of the settings. You can use other variables to set internationalization for a specific category, such as the collation sequence when sorting things and the formatting of dates. But any specific category that is not set will default to this, the setting you put in Lang. Now you know that to log out, you can just type the word exit. That will cause the shell to cease execution and you'll fall back to where you were before, which is either logged out or in your previous login. A synonym for the exit command is the end of file character, which you can enter from the keyboard as a control D. This means that a control D is a quick logout. I'm a bit fumble-fingered and log out accidentally sometimes, so I set ignore EOF to 3, so I have to enter control D three times in a row to actually log out. Now when I hit control D, this happens. That's not all of the environment variables that have some effect or other on your login session, but you get the idea. You can find them all listed on the man page for Bash. The next lesson starts with the fundamentals of writing scripts.